Welcome to Axis uh, Community. I think this is the sixth informal, uh, and what we uh, what, this comes as a result of um, Graham's suggestion that we do an open mic night. And really, what sort of underpinned that was: do uh, do you actually want to sit here and, and listen to a presentation for an hour, an hour and a half? Probably not. You probably want to listen to sort of ten minutes, quarter of an hour of presentation stuff. The rest of the time is sort of networking. Uh, th hopefully, that was sort of the idea. Ish, Graham. Fantastic, okay. <laughs> it's worked in half in the numbers. But. Okay, so um, what, what we started with a sort of loose theme, it, it, so I always have to organise everything again, and we, tonight was about four groups, the socialites, the marketeers, the misfits, and the geeks. Yeah, That's all right, we'll come in. <laughs> Thank you, <laughs> cheers. <laughs> Is that alcoholic? Very. Excellent. A few more of those. Okay, so what we what we're going to try and do is, is see what ideas you guys came up with, yeah, and 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 explore a new format for this sort of open mic thing. And one of the ideas that we had that Paul is about to get involved with in a minute is is this is harnessing the power of the people in the room. And we thought, how about you just have one slide that that uh, is your sort of five minute little talk, two minute little talk, and. Uh, I'm important, so I've got three, okay, but only backups in case we sort of run out of material. And this is my first, really quickly, and um, I also have my beautiful wife here, recent bride. Yeah, sorry, that one there. So this is Nikki, if you've not met her. And um, Nikki, I can explain everything. This is actually... <laughs> this is Axis Community on tour, and what we're going to start to do more and more is go to the most important events and, and sort of take Axis Community with us, film at them if we can, produce some value for us. We've been to. We've is, been that the, is that the Men and Motors exhibition then? Uh, yeah. <laughs> I, I, I was being administered to by two lovely ladies from Cube, the software people, who thought I was looking a little tired. What's missing from that? Yeah, yeah, I felt a lot better. This is what happens at the NEC and places like that. Anyway, the two events that we've been to recently were we went to Internet World uh, and we took some people down there. I think one of you guys there with us? Yeah, Karen was there on that one. Um, and more recently we went to, was it NLabs? NLabs, a social media conference. And um, one or two interesting things from that. But we're going on uh, visiting places, going on tours, and we hope that you guys are going to come along with us. And, and we aim to be sort of taking a coach as opposed to my coach, if anybody's sort of been in it. <laughs> it's going to have less seats soon because we're having a cooker and stuff finally. So, so where's the next one due then? Uh, good question. What's the next thing coming up? <laughs> well, the next thing coming up is either... Shift happens, which you can watch live from your laptop because it's going to have a live feed now. And Media Camp London, which is taking place a week on Saturday. And you're going to? Yep. And I'm presenting that as well. So we're going to be finding out from Karen in a bit as the sort of notional leader of the socialites, press ganged into uh, talking about her, her side of really what Axis Community is about. Um, I've been listening to some interesting ideas. I'm most excited to get some of them. We'll get sort of Karen up first. This, this is a, a real life anecdote actually that happened last night. Um, I've been publicising the Shift Happens event through various social media channels, which is my job. And um, I've been trying to find ways of quantifying the value of what my job is, because um, there aren't really any measures in place that I can refer to. Anyway, within one hour, Last night, I sent a notice about a Facebook group that we created for the event to 11 groups that I've been part of over the last six months, sort of reading blogs and posting notices. And within those 11 groups, there was the Creative Coffee Club, um, the TEDS Network, Mobile Video Streaming, Web2 Entrepreneurs, Saving Theatre in the UK, the Stage Newspaper, New Media Consortium, Friends of the Stage Management Association, because it is a theatre event after all. Um, Guild Geeks Nottingham. Guild Geeks? Guild Geeks. Guild Geeks. Men can attend, but they have to have a female escort. Um, did you say escort? Yes, I did. 
um, Equities profile, the trade union, and the stage, the social media mafia's fan page. And out of those 11 groups, that notice went to 63,385 people, all of which I know would be interested in watching that event live next you Thursday. Do for your websites because all of these are free, and most of them have something you can embed into your site. So the first one is something called Mebo which allows you to embed a widget into your website which gives you live chat. So if you've got instant messaging, if you've got Yahoo or MSN, you can log into Mebo. It will collect all your instant messaging channels together and it will allow them to feed straight through onto your website so you can have live chat on your website for free. Um, so that's Mebo.com. Um, on the design front, there's a thing that I've showed Johnny tonight, which is called Click Density, which is, we said, the poor man's... The poor man's heat maps. You know, the eye tracker heat maps that go on some of the courses show you how people interact with websites. This is brilliant. Eye tracker costs you 20,000 quid to do. <laughs> and you need all the kit, you need to rent it, or buy this really expensive kit. This is so Click cool. Density's free. Um, and it, 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 and you, as you run it in the background, I think you run it in the background or you run it on, you put a URL in it and it analyzes where people have clicked and it produces a heat map for you to show you. The other one is for the, the, any musicians, because I wanted to take it out of the tech, there's a thing called e-jamming, which you can, you can social network with musicians and jam live on the internet. So if you're a bass guitarist, you can plug in and be part of a band that's just across the world. I know we've used it in Second Life, um, for quartet, so there's a quartet that performs at one of the arts venues that I manage or I've, I've managed in the past and none of them have ever met. They broadcast into Second Life from all over the world and they use eJammer and it's free. What if you think you can play? Oh, well, then, <laughs> then you want the next one where well, I come... Where, where I come to, to sing... <laughs> to sing shot, which is social media karaoke. Oh, nice. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, I've never been on there because I do personally like karaoke. However, I do know that I can't sing, so um, I much, really I much, I much, so I much prefer to um, kill people's ears. <laughs> I'd, I'd, I'd love singing. I'd do it. I'm just rubbish at it, but I don't care. One last one for more business: Tick Track which is um, a professional project-based management tool aimed squarely at business users. It takes tasks broken down into component tasks and collected, um, allocated to individuals. So it's an online version of project and it's free. Um, so there's all, and those are just four social media web two applications that are free. Um, Fantastic, Smith. anybody over there? Who's over there earlier on, wanna add anything to that? Slumped down with the heat. <laughs> Anything for us? <laughs> okay, top line that one for you then. Uh, the concept that, that, that Facebook actually can be useful. Um, Karen's connectivity, and this is not kind of spammy stuff, Karen's connectivity into those networks gives her a reach to 65,000 people. And they're entirely contextual. They're grouped in, in areas of interest. That's the power of that. That's incredible. And I think the, the uh, poor man's eye tracker thing is just genius. If you're at all interested in how people are interacting with your website, uh, bounce back, all that kind of thing, your new site has got a worse bounce back than your old one. Yeah. Okay, well, there's a reason for that. How about you run this free tool and it'll tell you where they're going, where they're not going. <laughs>